So today's meeting, I'll just reread the agenda really quickly. First, we will go over the new book drive project, 15 minutes, 10 minutes about discussion or suggestions for that project, 20 minutes for Christie's projects, and 15 minutes for the individual project proposals. Okay. Anika, do you want to begin and present your slides? Uh, yeah, um, but can someone else change sh um, screen share? I'll share them. Um, Anthony, can you enable screen sharing? It should be enabled. Okay, all good. Okay, and I can um, share these slides in the chat after we're done. All right. Okay, so this is our proposal for the book drive. And um, it's by me, Angelina, and Summer. So an overview of our project is that low income or less fortunate communities, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, don't have the resources they need to educate themselves or just even read a good book. So to solve this problem, we want to collect books or make books more accessible for those that can afford to buy their own books. And for donations, we are accepting new or slightly used books, as well as monetary donations to buy books via GoFundMe. And we are partnering with the San Francisco Public Library and all donations will go towards this library. Um, some of the objectives of this project is to receive enough money and donations to donate around 150 children's um, and teens books. And basically how it's going to work is that we're going to donate the books and then uh, they're going to sell the books so that they can raise more money for their own library and they can buy more um, new books so people have more access. Uh, specification. So our target audience is we want to mostly receive children's and teens books from local neighbor neighborhoods, although adult books will also be accepted. And all of these books are donated to the San Francisco Public Library. Um, we will be accepting any books in new or slightly used condition. And some examples of good books to donate are Dr. Seuss, Percy Jackson, or Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And all of the books and donations from participants will be delivered to designated locations, which will be listed on the flyer. And then all of those will be donated to the San Francisco Library. Okay, so in order to uh, be safe during this pandemic, we're going to clean and, um, we're go and to be clean and safe, we're going to wipe down all the donations um, with sanitation, uh, sanitation wipes, and then we're going to allow the books to sit there for like 24 hours, and um, then we'll be safe. Um, so for the different jobs that we have, there's four different positions as of right now. There's project coordinators, which is us three. Um, there's the Treasury, Flyer, and GoFundMe, and um, listed below are how many people per position, and the time periods that you see below the different positions are the total amount of time needed, not like the time needed to spend per week or day. Um, so the Treasury is going to keep track of funds on a spreadsheet, and they can work with the adult board members for assistance if needed. And we're going to need you to send out updates regularly based on how far we are along the goal and stuff. Um, and for the flyer, someone's going to have to design the flyer and we're going to send out flyers to club members. Um, this doesn't include the people who need to pass out the flyers. So this is just the person who's designing and then sending out the design for everyone to spread. And the last position is the GoFundMe person. And this person is just going to create a GoFundMe fundraiser. And some more jobs we have is Wei, one of our board members, will be delivering the books by February 19th. And then we want at least four people doing flyer advertisements where they print out the flyers and pass them out in the community. And then we also have social media advertisement, at least four people who will post and spread awareness about this project on social media. Um, so here's our timeline. We want to get the flyer and the GoFundMe done by... Um, February 2nd, and then we're going to take a four-day period to pass out the flyers. And then from there, we're going to start accepting donations. And I assume that, like, we're probably going to close off donations in the range of, like, 
uh, the 15th to the 17th because we need it delivered by the 19th. Like last minute donations are okay, but we prefer like the range of donations between uh, the period we pass out flyers and the period that we purchase books. Thank you. Okay, uh, now any questions? Uh, is this deadline set by you guys or is this set by the San Francisco Library? So um, we basically got an appointment for um, February 19th. So it would be better if we donated then or before that because there is a set deadline for that. Also, uh, do you guys plan on buying the books in person using the money you earn, you receive? Um, I think that the book could both be bought in person or online. Um, the reason that we set purchase books and delivery, so they're like four days apart, is just in case we buy them online, we need time to get them to sh be shipped here and then we can like, um, let them sit for 24 hours. Okay. Are there any requirements for the books themselves? Because if I'm aware, every library like, prefers hardcover books because those are less easy to be damaged in any way. So what type of books did the San Francisco library say that you need to buy? Um, I mean, well, there's like, oh, sorry. Uh, do you want to go first? Uh, it's okay, you can go. Okay, right. Um, so there's like kind of no requirement, but we want uh, close to new books because how it's going to work is that they're going to sell the books. They're not actually going uh, to- No, I don't think they're going to do that because uh, we thought they were going to do that at first, but I don't think they're actually going to do that. I think the books are just going to be directly donated. And if I remember on the website, yeah. it says, make sure, this is just like an analogy they had, make sure the books are something that you would read in bed so they're not completely dirty or like destroyed. Yeah, so basically they go to the library, like the San Francisco library. So we're basically raising funds for their library um, just to support them. But um, the only thing that they said is that just don't make it really, um, you know, something that's like used too much and something that is like you wouldn't want to read, you know. So I have like a suggestion. So there's a store called Half Price Books at the Dublin Retail Center. So basically the books are semi-new but they're not exactly new. So will you be buying from there or will you be buying from like places such as Barnes and Noble? Um, I think what we're gonna do is probably online. So we could buy from there. Um, but I think it's Barnes and Noble. I think we would, if it's like fairly new books from like half price books, I think that's better because Barnes and Noble, we could probably get more books with half price books. Than yeah, I think all of that is just still up in the air. I think that's a good suggestion. We could definitely buy from there. So are you guys prioritizing uh, price over um, like how new it is? Um, I mean, it's just like a usable condition and it's close to new. I think it's still okay for the library. Yeah, oh. I've heard about half price books before. Like they... They have like fairly new books. They don't have like overly used or like dirty ones. It's like relatively new. Oh, hi guys, uh, this is Christy. Uh, I have a couple of questions regarding uh, this uh, um, project proposal. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you uh, Anika, Angelina, and Summer uh, bring this project proposal up. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's a, a very good project is, and it's uh, meaningful. Uh, personally, I, I like uh, um, the idea we would just promote reading habit and uh, we, we help others um, who are lack of uh, book resources, we can, we can um, provide some help. Uh, for this project, um, I'd like to learn more information uh, regarding San Francisco uh, Public Library program. 
So from your proposal, you are saying, okay, you, you're gonna help low income, you, you're gonna help uh, uh, somebody can, can now reach, reach out these uh, resources. So you decided to um, donate some book to San Francisco Public Library. <laughs> Uh, so um, I really want to uh, learn some more information about uh, San Francisco Public Library program. So how how do you think when you donate book, they can um, combine all these resources, combine our effort and the San Francisco program, we we can we can reach our goal. So could you give me some more information about that? Thank you. So basically, um, the reason we chose to do it without like a not organization, but like donating to a library is because we feel like when we donate to an organization, the books goes directly to like some people. But like if we donate to a library, a lot of people can check them out. And like, you know, a lot of people are benefited that way. So I think that's why we did. Um, do, we want to work with the library. Okay, so uh, thank you, Anika. The other question is uh, how San Francisco Public Library gonna use this book? They they gonna put this book as their collection, or they they gonna use other way to um, to reach out to other people, or they they donate or they sell? What they gonna do exactly with the uh, book donation? Um, so I believe that they will be using any books that are like acceptable and usable in a library actually for the library, although they may sell any books that like are not library standard to help like support the library. So how these, uh, how their program combine with our goal, uh, our goal is kind of from your proposal, you are saying, okay, we, we want to help low income, uh, they, they don't have resources or during this pandemic. So how you're gonna combine our goal um, with this San Francisco program? So um, we're lucky that the, so libraries are like a free resource and as long as you sign up and get a library card, then you are able to read the books in the library for free. But um, so what we want to do is make books more accessible and make have like a wider variety of books and allow people, even if they are low income, be able to read more books because reading books is super enjoyable. So by donating books, we're allowed, we're supporting the library and allowing them to have a wider variety of books for everyone to enjoy. And so also, there is a link in the chat about like more information um, from their their side of what they're going to do. Yeah, um, I ask this question. Uh, actually, the um, purpose of my question is uh, uh, I want you guys when you propose something, um, I, I really want you guys uh, jump out. Uh, from the um, previous uh, frame or something uh, really similar, I, I want you to think out of box. Actually, if you guys do some research on San Francisco Public Library, you will see yeah, lots of program there. So uh, except a book drive, I book drive is a good idea, but it's uh, uh, to me it's uh, it's like uh, we we just. Uh, um, um, keep doing um, something really similar like like uh, school supplies, uh, socks for seniors, uh, toy drive, uh, some drive. It's very similar, but if you can jump out of box, uh, think a different way, find other solution, yeah, maybe it's more interesting or you, 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 can, you can get more idea how we, uh, how we do uh, community service project. So um, I, I really encourage everybody, actually for book drive, um, what I can see is uh, for our club, we can make it as a long-term project because reading a book is, uh, is a really, really uh, good habit. So when you, when you read a book, it's like uh, you talk to someone it's, a, it's not face-to-face -face conversation, but a book can deliver lots of 
message and lots of useful information and uh, um, lots of uh, uh, wise people, yeah, what they are thinking. So what it, they are doing is it's kind of a, a communication. It's a powerful communication can help lots of people. So um, what I'm suggesting is uh, after this small project, maybe yeah, all of you guys, everybody in our club, you can think about it. If we can bring it to uh, our long-term project, we can reach out um, some more uh, nonprofit organization where we can we can explore uh, some really unique program like uh, San Francisco Public Library they are doing. Actually, if if you uh, dig a little bit deeper, yeah, go a little bit forward, you will find something more something um, um, maybe really unique way we, we haven't touched it before. Uh, but I, I, I support this, uh, uh, this book drive idea now. Um, yeah, try your best to, um, to reach your goal and encourage everybody in our club to involve this project. Yeah, just remember, so every project is, is, not, is not something like a, a project co coordinator uh, propose and they, they just run. So every project to bring this club, I want you guys to be a good team and everyone involved, everyone participate. So that way we're more powerful. It's, it's not something like, okay, this is a small group's project. It's your project, it's not mine. Uh, and also when you do the project from prior project uh, uh, review, uh, we have some experience. So for our club, we are nonprofit, we are doing community service. So you have to always balance. I know each project, uh, maybe for, for some club member, maybe a specific part, you really like it, you really enjoy it, but you have to keep it in mind. So our goal is that we are providing community service. So always to, reach the community service project goal is on the top priority than your personal enjoyment. Of course, if you, you, can, you can combine them together, it's the best. So you help others, you also enjoy. But when you, uh, during the um, project, when you're doing the project in process, you, you really have to balance, okay, which, which is a priority is uh, we deliver the result or your personal enjoyment. So that's, uh, that's something uh, I, I just want to uh, point uh, since we, we we're gonna start this, uh, this project. Uh, I, I just want to uh, remind everybody from uh, previous projects and uh, uh, just improve uh, how, we, how we do everything and how we coordinate and how uh, we build teamwork. And uh, um, everybody knows, okay, we have a common goal and we, we, we just uh, do our best to reach it. Um, so uh, the other suggestion is uh, um, for the project, uh, I, I saw from your slides, um, your project uh, uh, hours, how many hours are you, you, you're gonna spend on that? Um, my suggestion is maybe you, you guys, especially for this project, I know there are three uh, coordinators. Maybe you can um, uh, think about more, uh, yeah, make a, a more detailed plan. For example, coordinator uh, hours, you, you just put, okay, two to five hours. Um, is that for each coordinator two to five hours or three of you, you you're gonna spend uh, two to five hours uh, total? Yeah, it's, it's something uh, like that. We, because you guys, each of you, uh, you're a high school student, you, you have a busy schedule uh, and uh, our project uh, uh, is, is some, 
something extra. So you guys really need to um, um, have a skill to play juggle and uh, balance your schoolwork and uh, some something like actual like a, a community service project so i i just want you guys okay close monitoring the time you're spending for uh each thing you're planning uh try to be efficient uh, and uh, when you do things okay plan first uh, and uh, um, do it uh, uh, effective way uh efficient way Oh, that's my another suggestion. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Christy, for the suggestions. Um, we'll make sure to keep those in mind and we will send out any project updates if we change anything. Um, also, uh, just to clarify, uh, the hours two to five is an approximate for each, each um, coordinator although um, the amount of hours actually for each person will depend on how much they actually do. Okay, um, just one last question before we move on. I was looking at the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library website. It says that we are eager to receive technical, academic, or collectible books that we can sell through our eBay or Amazon storefront. So are they taking the books you buy in selling them or are they trying to directly use them? I'm not sure which one you're going for. Um, okay, like my original understanding of their website is that they take um, all the donations that they get and they examine the donations and if the books are of quality to sell them, they'll sell those. Um, for the portion at the bottom that says uh, the volunteers are experienced with rare and collectible books and that they'll examine those to identify valuable and exceptional items. They'll only, I'm pretty sure they only keep the items if it's like a rare and collectible series, but like other than that, I believe they should, they would just sell them. So have, have you guys directly talked or uh, asked them about this specifically? Because it seems to me that they expect people to have books at their home, which they do not want. And then they're going and taking those books to sell them. There's a bit of a difference here. That's what I understand the website to tell. So have you guys got like a specific um, confirmation for we that? We have not contacted them directly, but we can definitely do that after this meeting. As of right now, we have booked an appointment. and That's what we've done. I think that's a really big part of this because if we don't get this correctly, and if we don't understand this correctly, they might as well just sell the books we gave them that we just bought. So it seems a bit confused on my end. So can you guys, like just a quick action item, can you guys make sure to clarify this? Yeah, sure. Um, we can do that by next meeting. Um, I think if they're going to sell the books anyways, we should just give them the donations we get so that we don't buy them and then they sell them anyways, like if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's what I understand. So I don't think we need to spend extra money with the tax, with the everything, and books might not sell for as much as you buy them for. So if we if we don't understand this correctly, we could just waste a lot of money and pour it down the drain. So. I think that's a really big ad action item we need to clarify like ASAP if we continue with this project. Yeah, we'll make sure to contact them and clarify what they're actually going to do with the donations. And then we'll send out updates in the Discord and Hangouts. Yeah, I, I, um, I agree with, uh, uh, with Anthony. That's a really good point. So uh, when you set up a, a, a project, when you propose, you really need to uh, give a clear goal. So what's our goal and uh, how, uh, if you find a partnership and uh, we, we really we really need to be uh, very clear uh, if our goal um, is in the same direction and uh, uh, we, we really uh, want our project uh, with some um, decent quality. And the other thing is uh, 
um, from this uh, project proposal, I, I can see the same pattern. Um, okay, uh, the way we are doing it, we, we send a flyer uh, out again. Uh, I'm not saying sending out a flyer is, uh, uh, is some, um, there's a problem with sending out flyer, but based on uh, our previous projects, a couple of uh, uh, projects actually just uh, uh, physically uh, printing out flyer and uh, distribute flyer. Actually, I, I don't see it's a very efficient way. So you guys ever, uh, I, I believe each of you has uh, uh, social media, different social media channel. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's more efficient. Why don't you uh, just uh, distribute a flyer uh, in, in electronic way uh, instead of uh, um, a print off uh, a couple of hundreds uh, and spend hours and hours on that um, with, uh, uh, with uh, <laughs> not... Uh, uh, anyway, uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, I agree with uh, Christy. The we should use the electrical uh, electronic way better. One example is that um, Pleasanton School District has a peach jar communication channel to all the um, school families, so they will send out this um, nonprofit. Um, um, flyers, e-flyers to all the school families so that um, everyone can has a, a straightaway information of this uh, event. So if you can also reach out to the school district for this type of um, advertisement in Pleasanton or Dublin or other school district, that will also helpful. And if you want to um, I have the contact for the school, um, Pleasanton School District for Peach Jar communication. Um, if any of you want to contact me for that, um, I can give it to you. Yeah, and, I yeah, and also I have a, another suggestion. Um, so for, for books, for a decent condition, I think uh, um, all students, uh, they, they may have uh, lots of books at home. So for, um, for our family, uh, as an example, yes, Summer has a uh, lot of book in, in excellent condition. Yet, yet once she after uh, read it, yeah, just leave it on a uh, bookshelf. So I, I think for, for this project, uh, maybe more efficient way, just uh, use your uh, social media channel to ask a friends or um, a send off flyer to see uh, if, if they can donate some books from uh, their home. Um, so um, maybe that way you, you, can, you can just quickly collect a decent amount of books yeah, I think what we're planning to do, and if you look on our proposal, we have some people doing flyers, and then we have other people doing social media advertising, where you share it on social media and, like, show it to your friends and family. But I think Wei's idea of contacting, like, Peach Jar or other schools is a really good idea, and we can definitely look into that. I'm just going to cut... Yeah. Uh, can I just cut you guys off right here because we are going slightly over time and I want to make sure we go over everything else without having to delay people from leaving. So can we move on to the next project if or, or unless you have any important remarks, just one last question, uh, one last quick remark. Okay, that's fine. Um, so if there's uh, any other question or uh, the three coordinators want to uh, clarify, uh, clarify things or get more information, yeah, you can do it. Just uh, uh, in club, a Discord group or Hangouts group, yeah, giving out more information should be fine. Okay, thank you. So the next item on the agenda is Christy's project proposals. Uh, proposals. So uh, Christy, do you have any slides to share? Uh, sorry, guys, I, I don't have a slide to share, so I just gave verbal information uh, today. So maybe later I can send out some uh, setup sheet uh, for my projects to the whole club. 
so uh, as everybody knows, uh, we we're gonna apply for uh, president's uh, sur service, a volunteer service award uh, for club member for each of you. Um, so um, yeah, right now we are uh, trying to make sure we can we can co offer uh, from club side we can offer more opportunity, more uh, community service uh, project opportunity. Um, to each club member um, who really want to uh, participate uh, this uh, president's award. So uh, I encourage everybody, uh, if we have uh, some uh, project, we, we, uh, we publish project, if you have time, uh, instead of playing video game or other thing, maybe, yeah, you can, you can spend some time on this project. Um, you can make positive impact to our com uh, community and you can build your leadership skills and you can improve your personal, soft personal skills. Actually in the future, you will realize all these soft skills will be way more than useful than uh, something, a uh, pure academic skill. Yeah, if you can combine them together, it benefits your future, future a lot. So I uh, here, I just want to encourage each of you, uh, not only focus on your academic thing, but also uh, pay attention to building your personal soft skills. So that's the purpose way we, we're gonna create more opportunity in our club, inside our, our club. And uh, uh, I encourage everybody participate and also earn your hours. If you can, uh, if you can participate this uh, present award, yeah, spend some time, uh, participate project and uh, see if you can reach uh, some of your personal goal, uh, including uh, if you want to try this uh, president award, yeah, just try. So, um, I have uh, uh, right now I have a big project on hand, but uh, uh, it's uh, I call it a secret project. So I want a, a secret group uh, join my secret project. Uh, I don't want to announce. Uh, the project name here, but if you have a high curiosity, you really want to um, have some fun and want to participate in this uh, uh, secret pro uh, project, I will send out a uh, sign up sheet. You can reach me out personally. So I, I will uh, give you something to do. Uh, so, um, that's the one big project. Uh, for this project, what I can tell you is uh, I'm gonna issue each participate one hour each week because it's it gonna be a long term. Um, I don't want you guys overwhelmed. Uh, so for this project, uh, I'm gonna issue one hour to each participant. Uh, I will give you uh, some topic or some something to do. And you guys, uh, to earn this uh, uh, one hour, you have to give me um, a short email report. Uh, let me know uh, what's your progress. And then I, I just approve your hour. Uh, and I, I will also work with you, uh, give some direction on how to do it. Um, the other one is uh, uh, a really small and a quick project. Uh, I, I sent out a notification uh, yesterday is regarding um, if we can collect some uh, used blankets or quills, uh, we, we can help some uh, homeless people in San Francisco and uh, Oakland. So for this uh, small and quick one, I'm gonna issue two hours. So if you can, if, if you can collect uh, 
to use and clean blankets or sleeping bags or quilts uh, and uh, drop it off to my house by the uh, by Sunday. Yeah, this week it's gonna be great. Yeah, um, we we have uh, we have another uh, partner. They're gonna deliver um, to those uh, uh, homeless people. They are sleeping on street, and uh, these days you you can feel weather are uh, are changing um, frequently. So last night is uh, is a freezing night. I I think next uh, maybe next a uh, couple of weeks we we're gonna um, continue to have some freezing nights like uh, yesterday. So all these blankets and uh, uh, quilts gonna help uh, help a lot at least uh, to keep them um, a little bit warmer uh, during the freezing night. So if you can collect, um, yeah, don't hesitate to do it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a um, short time period, but we can show, okay, we are a strong team. We are a um, top team. Yeah, if something uh, just came quick, we can, we can get it done quickly. Um, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's this small project. I, I also have uh, several other uh, research projects. One research project is uh, uh, related to uh, environmental thing. Uh, the other uh, research project is uh, related to a database for Bay Area nonprofit organization because in the future, uh, we will build our um, our own network and database to uh, partnership with some uh, really well-known organizations. So I, I need somebody to help me to do uh, some research uh, regarding a future uh, project, some unique project we can we can um, partner with some others. So lots of thing uh, we need to do. So that's my another uh, project I need uh, somebody to help. Uh, I also have a, a research project regarding um, youth mental healthy. Um, I have uh, I I already have uh, something started, but I I really want somebody to get involved to do uh, more research with me. Uh, and also, we can uh, we can see if we can um, we can uh, create some uh, future event for for this. Um, so so far, yeah, I have uh, uh, what I mentioned. Oh, okay, my secret project uh, and uh, nonprofit organization database thing. Uh, and the environmental uh, research thing, uh, and uh, use a mental healthy research thing. So uh, that's four. That's four project. So anybody can participate. Yeah, if you are interested in it, yeah, just uh, I, I will send out a sign up sheet. So each of project I gonna issue uh, one hour each week. Um, so yeah, just try to balance what you can do. Don't let yourself overwhelm. If somebody may be, oh, I, I, I interest in them all. I, I send them all. But yeah, make sure before you sign, make sure you can handle it and you can deliver the result. Otherwise, you, you don't participate. Okay. I, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, tough. I, I, uh, I will require, okay, your, your work quality uh, and I want to see progress. So before you sign, I encourage each of you at least to sign one. So uh, that way, at least you can earn one um, community service hour each week. That's decent. Um, so if you have uh, more time, you have more energy, maybe you can, you can sign two, but don't over three, okay? That way you, you uh, won't work. I, so yeah, anyway. Think about it. Uh, after this meeting, I will send out the uh, sign up uh, link. So 
uh, each of you, if you want to do this, uh, yeah, just sign. I want to do that, just sign. Yeah, uh, I will. Um, after I collect all uh, set up information, I, I will create a small group. So um, you guys can uh, start working with me. So I can give you uh, some direction. You can just start it. So all these are uh, kind of long term. Um, so anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's all information I can give out right now. Christy, for the homeless project, do we also accept the something like a, a sleeping bag or tent? We accept uh, uh, sleeping bags, but now now tent. Okay. Um, also, Christy, for the homeless um, uh, project, um, how many blankets or sleeping bags would one person have to collect? Uh, because this, uh, we are kind of, uh, we only have a short term to, to do it. So uh, right now, my suggestion is uh, if you can collect two, we're going to issue two hours. But if you can only collect one, that, that's fine too. We issue one hours. One hour, we issue one hour. So any, any other questions? If not, let's move on to the next item. So the next item on the agenda is the individual project proposals. So there are multiple projects in this. Uh, and which one do you want to start first? Oh, uh, Anthony, this is not our individual long-term project. This is for the um, individual op volunteering opportunities. Uh, oh, my I... bad. Sorry, then. Uh, go ahead. No problem. So can I share? No, you should be able to. Okay. All right. So um, as Christy mentioned that we encourage everybody to accumulate the hours and then be able to qualify for the volunteer um, president for um, sometime later this year. So uh, other than the regular project uh, we mentioned before, we also want to offer some flexibility to our club members who want to uh, accumulate more hours at their um, availability um, and um, if they want to uh, at a faster pace or um, whenever they are available. So um, we have two opportunities. One is uh, second harvest. I believe um, Asama and Christy have been there to volunteer once. And this is um, in San Jose, the warehouse is in San Jose. So if you can, um, there are quite a, a lot of uh, opportunities there. So if you want to um, get in, volunteer and uh, volunteer as an individual so you can have uh, quite a few um, times available so you can do whatever is you are available and, like okay. days sorry, or sorry, sorry. Was that sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then um, so each shift is about two to three hours. So I know there is a um, long drive to get there, but uh, every time you can get uh, three hours, volunteer hour, and you just sort out, sort out the foods there and package the food for the hungry kids. And um, after you finish your shift, you can bring, the, bring in the a confirmation from the center and then we can uh, recognize the uh, volunteer hours for you. Um, yeah, so this is our uh, one option. The other one is um, a local option, which is uh, Kids Against Hunger in Bay Area. Uh, the good thing about this one is um, it's in local, so the warehouse in Pleasanton. So you can just uh, um, easily get there and your parent can just drop you there and um, 
Um, so for each packing event, um, you have to sign up in advance. So for example, these are all the available uh, packing events. So each of them, even though it's saying that private event, as long as uh, you can, um, there is open spots, you can still register. You can uh, see it's a, there is a cost for each event. Usually it's uh, $20, but for some, uh, some events like a Gleefy um, event, they uh, compensate some of the cost. So you only need to pay $10. Um, we already got um, approval from the adult advisory board that our club can reimburse $10 for, uh, for each event you had participated. So for example, at Gliffy, if you sign up for this one and um, our club will re reimburse you the $10, it will be free for you, but you will get two hours, 20 hours uh, for, for this event, even though it's only one and a half, but um, the, the um, Kids Against Hunger will author, uh, authorize you two hours for, this, um, for each packing event. Um, there are quite a lot of uh, events uh, set up already, so uh, you can you can just register. And for now, our club doesn't have the plan to organize an event uh, similar as the um, Fertile Groundworks, but uh, you can work there as an individual to earn um, volunteer hours, and then our club will recognize that. And also, um, I called this uh, this uh, center. They, they have very good safety measure uh, at this uh, pandemic. So each volunteer will have their own um, working table. So you don't interact with other volunteers. Uh, it's quite um, a social distancing. Usually there's uh, uh, 80 to 100 volunteers uh, for each event, but during this pandemic, they only limit 20 uh, volunteers for each uh, occasion. So um, um, yeah. That's, um, that's two op uh, opportunities that for individual volunteer um, events. And uh, if you find out any new um, other uh, volunteer opportunities and uh, under organized by some well-known um, volunteer organizations, you can always send us uh, the link and then we can verify. And uh, if we get approval, you can get the uh, volunteer hours. Uh, and also as Christy mentioned, while working on um, building up the database to um, collect all the well-known reputational um, organizations so that we can um, cooperate with them for more opportunities in the future. Yeah, that's, um, that's what I want to share today for the individual opportunities. Any questions? Um, could you put the link of those two in the chat, please? Sure. Yeah, it will also be in the meeting minutes, I believe. Um, when they say individual project, make sure you guys are signing up yourselves. Um, that's why it's called the individual project. You have to sign up yourself. The club is not going to sign up for you. Um, so uh, don't forget to do that if you want to participate in one of these. Yeah. So uh, like these multiple projects that uh, Wei just, uh, just told you about, these are, pro uh, these are different individual programs which we have already been to some of them like individually as different members so it, for example summer participated in a second har harvest project or one of the volunteering sessions it is uh, there's a lot of jobs to choose from if you want to pack food or deliver it there also is that opportunity so just you can go around to different websites and try to find one of the uh, one of the organizations who might give these hours or allow you to volunteer but make sure to come back to us to get the hours from our club as well yeah as i mentioned for kids against hunger because there is a cost related to that um if you have uh, completed this your shift and uh, show us the the form and the, the receipt we will reimburse you ten dollars for each event you participated
Does anyone else have any uh, questions about this? Or if not, let's move on to just some announcements we have. Okay, it seems like there aren't any questions left. So I'm just gonna move on to some quick announcements we have. So our club is trying to be nominated as the 2020 Dublin Organization of the Year. So some group photos are required in the application for this project or for this title. So if you have any pictures of you doing these uh, volunteering for our club, like ones that you made for school supplies, or other projects, please email those photos to us as soon as possible, preferably by Sunday. And with that, we will make a collage and try to show off our club and act and how people volunteer for us. So if you guys have any photos, just try to email that to us as soon as possible so we can create this collage and hopefully we can uh, Wait, uh, I thought the collage was going to be a sentence, not just us volunteering. Yeah, uh, there are, we do, need, we do need to submit photos as well with the actual application. Um, Anthony, Anthony, remember the, the collage you, you guys made for the school supplies project? Yeah. Everyone, um, you have a quote on that um, collage and everyone hold that sign for one of the word in the, in the quote and then take the photo. Uh, um, coordinated in a coordinated uh, mode. So you do need some um, um, coordinating before they took photos. Wait, so it's just the sentence collage, right? Not any other photos or is it both? Um, just the collage, uh, collage photo with uh, the quotes, similar as the school supply project. I thought we were using the collage um, or the word uh, the one that we did for the school supplies, I thought that's the one that we were using. We also have, uh, uh, ac actually, Jabi also proposed some other quotes. So um, you guys can also use that quote as well. Yeah, Jabi had a, a few really good ones. Uh, guys, okay. So uh, for this nomination, um, I want to clarify uh, something. For uh, this nomination, our uh, our deadline for submit everything is uh, February fifth. So uh, we we need because we we still have uh, some form to fill out, and also this uh, uh, this picture is important. They they want a club picture, so uh, that's why. Actually, uh, to me, it's it's like I I want everybody to participate. If you can. Uh, if you can take uh, uh, your personal picture, it's, uh, it's like uh, something uh, we used for school supply. Uh, we and then we can combine everybody's small picture uh, as a, a, a big one. So um, for the for the code, if uh, if uh, it's I, I know it's hard because we, uh, we we don't know how many people are gonna participate, right? So maybe it's hard to uh, to find uh, uh, one word for for uh, each one, and then you 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 just uh, um, um, make a sentence, or something like that. Another way is uh, uh, just uh, each of you. I I encourage everybody partic participate. Yeah, show your face, a smiley face on, on the group picture. If we if we we got uh, a word, uh, so your picture gonna show on the uh, city Dublin city web page. I, I think that's gonna be cool. Um, so maybe my uh, my suggestion is maybe you guys can just uh, uh, selfie one picture. Uh, like uh, school supply, uh, that picture we used, that kind of style for code. Maybe uh, after we, we combine everybody together, uh, you, you just use the um, Photoshop or, or some other editing uh, app to put a code on, on that big picture. That's also fine. Maybe that way is, uh, is much easier. Yeah, instead of uh, yeah counting how many people we need, we we need to find uh, exactly a code uh, to give uh, uh, everyone a word. Um, so yeah, 
let's just uh, uh, make things simple. Uh, I encourage everybody take a, a selfie and send to um, a send to who who's a coordinating with this picture thing. Kevin and I will be organizing the picture. Is there anyone coordinating with? with Chris, you got cut off. Oh, sorry. Is it better now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I was asking who is coordinating with uh, this photo thing. Anyone is, is doing that? Is Kevin or Anthony? We're coordinating with who? Coordinating with the, this uh, picture thing. Kevin and Anthony are doing the coordinating work. Okay, then, then I encourage everybody to take a selfie. Yeah, just do it as soon as we finish this meeting. Yeah, nothing to delay. Yeah, just take a, uh, take a selfie and send a picture to Anthony and Kevin uh, through uh, Discord or other, uh, other uh, channel. Which one is easier for you? Um, if we already did the one for the school pro uh, school supplies project, do we need to take the picture? Yeah, just retake one because for school supply, each of you just holding uh, a word, right? So we, we cannot use it anymore. So from what I understand, we just need a, a quick selfie of everyone. And then from there, we'll make it into a collage and then put words over that. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, put, uh, put a quote uh, under, yeah, on the bottom. Actually, don't cover anybody's face. Hello? Yeah. Um, so basically, I will send out an announcement just to clarify everything. And from there, let's see if we can make as many pictures as possible. So make as big of a collage as possible. And then we, let's put some words over it. And hopefully, um, I think that might be the solution we can use. Yeah, just uh, take a quick action. Yeah, we, we don't need to uh, wait until Sunday. Yeah, if you guys can... Yeah, just uh, just uh, a couple of seconds. Uh, you take selfie and send out uh, a picture to Kevin and Anthony, and we get it done. So I'll announce the specific instructions about who to send it to, and what to send later, um, probably right after this meeting. And if not, and if there are any other questions, please say them now, and that might be the end of the meeting. Does anyone have any other questions? Well, sorry for the big confusion. I think we got to clarify now. And if so, thank you for attending this meeting and hope to see you next time as well. Bye.